Ski Cross Comp closed the 10-day world champs. In the qualifications, big name Sean, last year's overall World Cup title winner Victor Erling Norberg, took the best time. On the ladies' side, Marielle Thompson finished behind her teammate Georgia Simerling, while veteran Ophili David ended in second. Yeah, it went well for both of us. I think uh, you were one place behind me. Yeah, something like that. The, um, the stashes, they sort of attract each other, so it must be in the times as well. The course is uh, great. Uh, the only thing now is uh, the snow is a little bit sketchy. The snow is really, it's like we said, it's dead. It's like sugar snow. Inconsistent, like some hard spots, some soft spots. Some part it's really hard and next turn it's soft. Because it's kind of sugar, there's no cohesion. It's a mix between slushy and hard. It's a problem with not having moustache, you know, you complain about snow. <laughs> be interesting to see four guys on it. Uh, I don't know how much passing there will be, but there's definitely some opportunities. Last year at the World Cup, we didn't have much passing going on, so I think that start's going to be really important and to get out in front. It's going to be a fight, it's going to be a tough fight. The course is very narrow, so uh, I think the pack will stay together. Really important to be fast in the start because it's quite narrow course, so it's going to be pretty hard to do some passing. I think a few couple opportunities if you need to make something happen, so we'll see tomorrow. Maybe on down on the bottom, where is the two lines, you know, two straight lines, maybe there we can do some pass. You know, it's the, it's the world champ, so it's going to be it's going to be a tough race. I feel really good. I'm I'm all okay. Uh, good race before and yeah, I'm ready for tomorrow. I kept my skis going. I def my run definitely wasn't perfect, but um, I kept my skis going and my and my speeds are up, so that's what did it for me. It was actually anyone's race, as the two gold medalists were pretty unexpected, after some drama coming from the previous heats before the big final, and even from the training itself as top qualifier, Georgia Simmerling couldn't start after a bad crash. As is so often the case in ski cross, several of the favourites saw their competition ended earlier than expected, as Marielle Thompson, Thomas Zangerl, Heidi Zacher and Andrea Schauer, Armin Niederer and several others were involved in crashes that knocked them out of contention. Andrea Limbacher won gold for Austria in incredible fashion, passing ageless veteran Ophélie David near the top of the course and then staving off heavy pressure from David and 2013 world champion Fanny Smith through the course's middle section before Smith had a near crash and dropped off the pace. Followed by oh, Fanny Smith, has more mistake by the Swiss gear. Most likely going to be overtaken by Ophélie David. Around the final corner and over the final jump, David caught Limbacher in a drag race to the finish. Getting into the last bank and followed by Ophélie David. And it's going to be a photo finish between Limbacher oh, and David. Limbacher! And it's Andre Limbacher's gold medal. Philippe Flieser won the battle in the big final, where he faced down two of the most dominant men in ski cross. What the hell's going on? It's good. It's it's so much stress. I we must go. That's too so much. Go. It's good. I feel good. We must it's... go to win the ceremony. I can't believe. 